What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Cali Bright Jumping Spiders. Today I'm going to just show you guys a few updates on my spiders. So this right here is our pink salmon buried eater. I think I did a video on this one a couple days ago actually, but since she or he, I'm not sure what it is yet, but is out. Just recently rehoused it to a bigger tank. Wasn't a smaller tank, so it's been out a little bit more now. Got dirt all in it, little baby bulldozers, I swear. But I gotta clean out the water, so I'm doing a little bit of cleaning. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, that's my OBT right there, just peeking out. Hopefully tonight it'll come out. Out it usually, I'm gonna try to get another video later tonight. But usually it hangs out right here on the glass, so I'm hoping to get a good shot. This one's hiding too. We'll see what we can get tonight. Grim is out though. My Ace Amani. He's a uh, drinking some water he buried his water bowl so I kind of just gave him water in the corner for now my Balfour is in that right there and then I don't know let's see let's cut the flash off this guy real quick didn't oh you can't really see in there but I've got a curly here in there and then I got a giant Colombian fire leg in there. She don't really come out much. Her name is Sally. And then we got, this is the one we call curly. It's another curly hair. And then let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid back on this one and show you guys my GBB. Before I go to the GBB, I'm going to offer a little meal. For some odd reason, my video cut off. But she snatched up the mealworm real quick. And she is currently wrestling it down. That's the thing. This one right here, she don't really hide. She likes to chill out. She has a little burrow she made under this leaf right here. But she hangs out. She's nice and fat. So she's going to chill for a few days on eating. Hopefully we get us a nice molt soon. Alright, so this is pumpkin right here, which is my GBB. Let's see. Try to get a close up. Look, look at those colors. Some nice colors right there. And not only that, pumpkin's getting pretty darn big. And pumpkin hopefully molts again soon. That way I can go ahead and throw pumpkin in that tank. I still gotta decorate it a little better, but get it like how these guys' tanks are eventually. I gotta add more substrate since it's starting to pack down a little more. But they've kind of dug their holes and are done with it like Grim. Grim has his all dug. It goes all the way under into that tunnel. Like all the way under. So that's pretty cool. He kind of moves everything around. I'm probably gonna have to put another water dish in there just because, yeah, I'm not gonna try to dig that out on him. Hopefully tonight this one comes out. Ignore the tag on there. I bought this tank used and I just redid it all. But this is my P. regalis, aka the Indian ornamental. One of my most venomous, from what I've been told, is an asshole. But it likes its new tank. As you can see, it's that's all webs right there and he has this little shoot where he comes out. Alright, so this one right here is the most funny to me because... I forget the name of it. It's the horn baboon, but I don't remember the scientific name. But I set the tank in here, the old original jar that it's been in since it was a sling. Let's see if I can lift it up. I don't want to ruin his webs too much because he has his little area. But originally, this was supposed to come out. I was going to add a few more decorations in, but never came out so i'm letting that be his little hideout and i'll add more substrate when needed if he ever makes the decision to come out he'll get too big eventually and i have other tanks for that so i'm not worried about that but for now he'll keep his little jar i usually catch him peeking out of that hole right about there so tonight we're gonna come check on everybody and see what we can see i'm gonna see who else is out real quick all right so with this one there's no real point in trying to show you guys because you're not gonna see him but this is my Emperor Scorpion's tank, which that's why it's so moist in there. He has an entrance right there that he goes in, and then also that corner spot that you've seen. And that's his other little entrance or exit, whatever which one it may be for him. I hardly ever see this guy out. He eats his crickets, and that's it. That's all I know. 
All right, so we got a few of my little jumpers. These are Johnsonis. They're still only a few months old. Not that old, but they're pretty cool. I'm going to have to try to get them into new tanks hopefully today. Hopefully. We'll see how that goes. But let's go on to the next. I wasn't even recording. I was talking for nothing, guys. So this right here is a female autumn broadest. That's a web sack right there that she created. And it's currently going to be laying eggs soon, hopefully. But I'll try to show more tonight, guys.